After the Republic of Congo authorities launched a disarmament campaign on Tuesday, August 7th, a former rebel leader, Frederick Bintsamu, popularly known as Pastan Tumi, has accepted to join the process. Tumi met with the leaders of the commission in charge of monitoring the December 23rd peace agreement in a meeting held at a remote location more than 100 kilometers south of the capital, Brazzaville. We are here to give you a new image. We want to change the public opinion on who people think you are. We are here to ask you to call for peace and disarmament because we cannot have peace without disarmament. Ntumi, who led a violent campaign against the army in the oil-producing south, gave in to the commission's request, but he also had to spell out his conditions. If you can see me alive, it's not because of the guns. It's because God protected me. That's why you can see me again. We are going to hand over the weapons. But if the situation that led us to take up arms is not resolved, it's going to be like we were fighting for no reason. I will go to Miami to start the disarmament, but we have to work together. The ninjas clashed with government forces in the Pol region after contested elections in March 2016 when veteran leader Doni Sasungeso was re-elected. War is destruction, peace is reconstruction. We are now at peace. The clashes led to some 138,000 people being displaced. The Pool region was also the scene of violence with government troops between 1998 and 2003.